loser. All right, you're good to go. Yep, loser semis. Uh, as we're going to be seeing Incineroar versus the Ness, yes, yeah. bringing out the Ness this time. Forsyth has been very adamant recently about just going Ness. Yeah, he did. I, I've seen him play it earlier today. He played it against me in Smashland. But this, um, sorry, this Incineroar we've also seen plenty. Right now, pretty much uh, Karanel's sole main, surprising or not. Yeah, he was telling us earlier that this is the only character he's actually invested time into over the past few months. Yeah, at this point, just interested in having a good time with this game, not really too worried about the results, and this is the perfect character for that. He's a great character just to have fun with. And I think he's honestly a uh, character that fits Karanel's overall playstyle. Yeah. Because, like, getting those heavy reads, getting those early kills, like, this is great for, for what Karanel wants. Yeah, I mean, we're 30 seconds into the match and, and 90% already on side. Yeah, he can easily get this kill soon. Just needs one more solid hit, one more side B, and that will take care of the stock. He's keeping uh, keeping Forsyth cornered right here. Because yeah, usually, you know, against Incineroar, you want to be able to get the percent lead, because he can get the comebacks, but... Ooh, the, oh, the... Nair. That looked like some homie DI right there. That did not look like it was supposed to kill. Yeah, it might have held in a little bit. But, you know, didn't expect the dash attack. Sometimes you don't, especially when he just trudges along the entire screen. So right now getting a lead, three stocks to two. Karanel's probably going to get a lot of mileage off of Nair specifically in this matchup, especially Nair at a shield. Oh, and that should, that should kill. No, he is uh. still fine. Oh, but that is well, actually going to be that, very harsh. Uh, that is yeah, a kill. Yeah, that's oh, a man. kill. Wow. So now ahead, three stocks to one. A big turnaround. Well, I was about to say turnaround. That ain't true. But uh, uh, He's had this lead the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I was just surprised that he took that second stock so quickly. Ah. Yeah, the amount of revenge off of off of the up B, up B2, like that has to be oh. immense. Oh, is he getting, okay, I thought he was just going to sit there and take that revenge. I was about to say, I would sit there and revenge that, but I'm not the Incineroar main. Yeah, it's a little risky because he could just delay it more, and then you're dead. Oh, speaking I, of, I he might be done here. I the hell out of Forsyth going out there for it. Yep, no yeah. double jump. Forward air is such a good move, uh, at least off stage when it comes to uh, Ness's edge guarding. But, I mean, Forsyth still has a little bit of a mountain to climb. Yeah, and of course, Karen all doing a great job of keeping his spacing right and just, you know, keeping out of that burst range that Ness has. But he's going ah. to, to intrude on that space real quick here as he gets some good hits. 79%. This could be a second stock pretty quick, but I'm being through all of that. I think of that side magnet that Forsyth meant to short hop versus full hop there. Because uh, Karen was still stuck in that PK fire. Ooh. A little, trying to be a little bit too spicy with that up B there. Instead, just uh, lets him get back to stage. So now Incineroar having a pretty good opportunity here. 75%, that's definitely not outside of kill range. Definitely not. Especially since, uh, I mean, you got a demonstration of the strong hit of F Smash earlier. Yes, yeah, right before this, uh, Karanel killed me Ooh. at probably 72% with, uh, like, center stage. With, center, with Incineroar's strong hit forward smash. And uh, I play Luigi, not necessarily a light character by any means. Yep, and now 105%, even looking even worse for him. But, I mean, Incineroar is a character that sometimes you just can't get any hits ah. at all, but that will be a hit enough for him to get that first game. <laughs> There's that uh, Nair and Shield I was talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean, Nair on Ledge in general as a ledge trap option is oh, yeah. great. So good. Covers so many things because it's fast. Uh, you can jump higher to get the jump. Uh, the only thing it doesn't cover is roll, but you can kind of just, like, fade back Either and try way, to yeah, do something exactly. about it. You fade back, and while it doesn't have necessarily the most end lag, you can probably get another action afterwards. Exactly. So now, uh, having a solid lead here, Forsyth going to have to get uh, a solid counter pick here because actually this is still best two of three. Two of three, yes. So if he loses this one, he is frankly out of the tournament. And I'm actually surprised that uh, Karen will left town and City Open. I can imagine it being a very good nest stage. Yeah, perhaps a mistake, or perhaps he likes it as well because he does get some early kill setups. Yeah. Um, it's a big stage, so Ness can just kind of run around him. Especially when you have the three-platform layout. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see um, how this works out for four sides. There's that invulnerability I was about from to say, I, I did also take Karanel to this stage on counter pick, but it did not work out for me, so. Ah, uh, that might be... Oh, he saved his jump. Oh, all right. Does not get the the forward uh, forward B to get out. 
But he's still in the lead here, still in, has solid control. This changing, however, the down throw will connect to a forward air. I think right now Forsyth is just attacking Shield way too much when it comes to, uh, to, to placing his aerials. Yeah, you have to play really patiently against Incineroar, because that's when he crumples. Yes. Oh, that's... And that'll kill! Yeah. yeah. Karen all this time being the impatient one and getting hit with the uh, Thunder, too. It's so easy to be impatient, too, especially when you're up 1-0. You're yeah. like, oh, I've got this, I've got this. You have the confidence yep. to do it. Especially against Ness, because it's like, you sit there and you think, if I force him to do it, Thunder, too, I should be able to punish it. Exactly. But sometimes it's not the case. That was a situation where Forsyth probably would have gotten yielded more off the jab lock uh, with a down tilt instead of jab. Oh, that's but a good But here he is taking the stock anyways. Yep. That's, that was a quick two stocks, and now he's very much back into the set. He can take this game and tie it back up. Yeah, if I'm Forsyth right now, I would actually want to maybe pacify my game plan a little bit. Just, oh, yeah. At play. this point, you can just calm it down. Just yeah. take your time. Yeah, just play on the back burner. You don't have to rush anything. Yeah, because Incineroar is going to have to approach you, and he's not great at that. Uh, no. Very slow character. Ah, uh, well, you know, when you just stand there and eat a forward air, that kind of happens. Yep. Being stuck on, on a platform is bad, regardless of who you're up against. It's probably going to... Oh, this is... Wow. Nope. Okay, pushes him to ledge, actually, so he's good. I don't know if I agree with the Psy Magna follow-up versus the double fair normally. I think maybe, that is Maybe the double fair like is not true. I think that's usually kind of like the oh, oh my god, Forsyth, you're so freaking sick. Yeah, he saw that the, the PK fire was carrying him down, and he's just like, I will follow that up. And so he did. And game two goes to Forsyth. That's awesome. That was commanding. That was totally different from game one. Yeah, if I'm uh, if I'm Karenal, I need to dispel any doubts in my mind right now. like Because game two was uh, kind of a wash. Like Yeah. It's, um, I mean, he had the counter pick to his advantage, of course, and that yeah. means something. That doesn't mean everything, but yeah. it means something. So we'll see what, uh, what Karen Olsen Incineroar is able to bring here as he needs to bring it back on game three here, because now he's looking like the one at disadvantage, it seems like. Yeah, now you're on tournament, um, tournament game, you know? Yep, last three stocks, yeah. possibly. They both are, but, I mean, like, the momentum that it feels like Forside has, because that was, he just did not stop. Right, and if there's a thing about Forsyth, uh, his when it comes to momentum-based players, I think Forsyth is actually one of the best in Columbus, at least. Yeah, yeah. He's so good at knowing how confident he should be, especially after a, a, like a game one win or a game two win, and he's up in the set. Yeah, in, in situations like these, like his mindset is real strong. Yes. Oh, fading back, actually not getting punished for it. I thought that was going to be a bit too risky, but he is actually still winning here. Has him off stage. Yeah, Karenal's just not waiting long enough uh, until the PK Thunder comes out. He's, yep. uh, he keeps getting hit by the either the trail or the the immediate hit of it. Ooh. Okay, I thought he would be punished for that get-up attack, but uh, actually getting the advantage here now. Not for long, however. Foresight answering back has him on stage. Oh, not man. quite fast enough with Very that. smart Lariat. Yeah, the Larry is such a good move. All right, and now, now just trying to stay away. Doesn't want that kill move to land, but it will there off of the will, yeah. side B. And now we are, we're at a three to two stock game. Karenal only having two stocks left in this tournament. He's gonna have to turn it up. He's that will be one stock though. Yep. All right, so tied up 0-0. Zero, zero. We got two fresh stocks, but Forsyth, of course, having the advantage off the Angel Craft form and taking Woo! the full advantage of that. He wanted that second back air so bad. Oh, yeah, not quite getting it, but this is still a great opportunity going to fade away from the neutral B. You can't let all four hits hit your shield because that will break it. Karano definitely, at least in uh, in game two and currently in this game, I think he's not selecting his out-of-shield options very well compared to game one, at least. Yep, yep. I think he's uh, he's a little bit more hesitant. He's oh, that was a beautiful wait on the revenge. All right, all right. Smart going high there, getting away from the forward airs. But he's still going to have to make up quite a lot of ground here. And Sunderland uh, no, is the character to do that, and that will not kill, so he is still in this game. Mm -hmm. And center we're being a super heavy and, and weighing more than 90% of the cast allows him to live there. Even I mean, yeah. that was good DI from Karenal. I mean, you know, center stage, but it would have killed him like almost any like other anyone character. Else. Yeah. Oh, oh, that will do the it. The trade, no. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Very good tech there to get himself still alive and That's misses that forward tilt. So good job rolling through that. Karenal was not prepared. Oh, that was a risky double jump from Forsyth. Karenal was waiting to do an option afterwards. He was expecting the double jump right there and just so happened to miss his down air. Yeah, and here's where we talk about the power of Nair. He does get through, however, with the roll. 
Oh, missing the side. Uh, he gets that, him back to stage. Though. That's an air dodge that Foreshot should just expect because earlier in the set, uh, he didn't get the double fair punish. Yep. Oh, he's going for the two. He does he all revenged the revenge. It. He revenged it. Oh. That's still so much damage, though. I don't know if that was necessary. This revenge will probably do 70%. Okay. Oh, he's going to kill dash still. Attack? How much revenge did he have? All right, still going to be able to make it back there. Karen will has to be patient right here. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Nair will take it. Yep, well done. And now this is not that far off from even, honestly. No, this is probably three or four hits from uh, from Karen's and Center Road Punish game where, to where it's evened up in percent. You yeah, know? look at that. The up air string, the juggle, getting him back into the game. This literally could be anyone's game right now. All right, pushing away with forward air. Has him on the platform, but he's getting through it. No, he doesn't. I don't think smash. that was on purpose. I think he doesn't matter. Worked out. Oh, all right. Let's see. Yeah, if I'm four in this situation, I'm just trying to wall out with forward air as much as possible. I'm not gonna quite kill yet, but that's so much damage on Incineroar now. And that's it. That's it. No, I think. Oh, that's that it. is it. All right, four side taking Forsyth that taking two one. It. Barely managing to cut uh, to to just you know eke out that victory. Riding the momentum from game two. Yeah. Like, 